three pigs out here to having 13 pigs out here, it's like, whoa, that escalated quickly. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. Okay. Good afternoon, beautiful people. It's another fine day. So we're having some unseasonably cool weather. God, it's and it's beautiful. fabulous. Like it's like one o'clock. It's a little bit late, and it's completely comfortable out here. Slightly it's warm. wonderful. So what we're gonna do first? We've got some picking we gotta do. I gotta get out here and do some garden maintenance. Yeah. When it when it rains and it's hot, everything grows like crazy, including oh the weeds. Yeah. So I get to do that again. One thing before we get started, I think I'll walk out there and show them. Okay. Since I know people are gonna ask. In normal fashion, we don't film on the weekends, and wouldn't you know it, Friday that pregnant pig finally had her baby. She did, yes. So, you want to walk down there with me? Uh, I'm or... going to pick tomatoes. Okay, you get started. The baby's asleep. I have a tiny window. <laughs> okay, well then you go pick and I'll, I'll come join you shortly. All right. That is a mighty fine pile of wood chips, if I do say so myself. I have been opening up everything and I'm getting ready to move the pigs over to that section from where they're currently at. And then I've been opening up in there. You can even see the wood chipper way back in there. There's sun shining on the ground where sun hasn't shine, shined on the ground in a long time. Let's go up here and see these piggies. They're probably taking a nap in the shade. Oh, there's one. Ah, stranger danger. <laughs> they look so funny when they run. Oh, there they are. There they are. All right, so we've got two slackers in here taking a nap. And here is the new new mama. Not those two giant ones. These are the new babies. Itty bitty. Say hi. So put me down. So yeah, they're doing good. So she only had four. I have wondered if everything was all right because she seemed like she was in labor all day long. I was out here wood chipping. I checked her in the morning and she was looking like she was gonna have babies and it was like, oh, okay. Well then late afternoon I came out here and she'd already had them. They're a little bit undersized, it seems. One of the reasons for clearing stuff out is I'm gonna have to separate out the mamas because as you can see, that one right there has decided more food for him and what's happening is the first batch is actually muscling out the second batch from being able to nurse i've watched it over the weekend anytime the other mama starts nursing her babies she'll start nursing her babies and they end up getting a meal so i'm gonna have to separate them not that big of a deal, but it's just kind of a hassle because uh, trying to move them and I've got to move one mama that way, one mama that way, and it's just like one more thing. We're up to 10 babies, period. Six and four. It's a lot of pigs. We went from uh, <laughs> three pigs out here to having 13 pigs out here. It's like, whoa, that escalated quickly. So, all right, to the garden. I see a whole basket. You've been busy while I've been over there harassing piglets all right so i've got a whole bunch of peppers that needs picking i'm going to crawl in there i picked a shirt full this morning after we uh, got done milking the cow uh, and then corbin picked a whole shirt full and there's still plenty more oh do you have an extra basket thank you this is the first time we've ever grown sugar rush peach and the plants are very prolific they're putting out tons of fruit but they are taking forever to ripen they turn a nice peach color when they're ripe and these aren't hardly ripening which is what we're waiting for at the speed these are going we want to make a peach hot sauce where it's got sugar rush peach and actual peach and we're just waiting for them to ripen we could pick them and let them ripen on the counter but they're really better when they're ripe right when you pick them so these black dragon chilies are so prolific the plant is actually falling down that's why they call them black dragon chilies they they turn green and then black and then they'll ripen to red so that's what they look like just your uh, normal thai chili they're very spicy these are actually more of an ornamental i just grew them because i wanted to grow them this year for sure heat like i know this will always be hot these are reliably hot yeah i probably won't eat this out here i don't i don't have my water out here i'd probably burst into flames these are the scorpion in case you hadn't seen them pick them a little bit green 
still ripen on the counter. These are uh, pretty spicy. Yeah, like I said, we're starting to lose the edges again. Hey, has anybody else had a problem with their poblano peppers this year not growing large at all? We've grown jalapenos larger than these poblanos. These poblanos are supposed to be pretty big. All the ones we've grown this year are just like, they get that big and then they turn red. We've never had such small poblanos before. Well, that actually might be okay. We want to make chili rihanna and uh, we could actually prep these and freeze them and then just pull them out of the freezer and fry them real quick. That, uh, that's probably what we're going to end up doing. These are easier to fry because they're so small. That's not bad. It's a nice, uh, nice basket of produce. Plus a whole nother basket of tomatoes. Yeah. Most of those are too woody. We can walk by the chicken coop and okay. throw them at the chickens. It's what happens when you turn your back on okra for just a day. The garden's at that weird stage where we're probably at like more than halfway done with a lot of stuff and we're actually growing out and getting our fall stuff ready to go into the garden. Yeah. And we've got to finish up the stuff like the tomatoes and the peppers. So it's just like this weird in-between time. That is a lot of tomatoes. Oh, I love garden time. Where do you want me to set this? A lot of produce. There's the produce that you've just dealt with. Yes. Put some in the freezer. Here's my pile of peppers I brought in this morning. This morning. A lot of cachuchas, chocolate habaneros, a few peach, some scorpion, more of the uh, seven pot. Mm. Those are just gnarly looking. And then this is what Corbin brought in. Yeah, a lot more peppers. I think we can make some hot sauce. What do you think? All right, I'm gonna go drag a hose over to the pigs real quick, and then I'll get back and we can cut some stuff up. Okay. We stopped and had lunch yeah. because nobody wants to be grumpy. All right, I'm gonna get to chopping all these. Okay. Um, basically, I just said before I turned on the camera, I was like, all right, tell me what to do. Yeah. Don't hear that very often. So I'm just gonna chop up peppers. Yes, um, we need six cups. We pulled the peaches out of the freezer. Yes, so it's gonna be a tomato and peach, sugar rush peach pepper salsa. Say that 10 times fast. Yeah. Tomato, peach, sugar rush, peach. Yeah, so it'll be on the sweeter side. Which that's, what we're going for. Yeah. This could either be really, really good or really, really bad. Yeah. All right, we'll find out. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go find some rubber gloves and get a chop. So that's the recipe. <laughs> well, <laughs> no. I will share the recipe I'm basing this off. <laughs> so there is no recipe. There's not an actual recipe that involves peaches. Let, let's go over the ingredients. So I saw some vinegar go in. Yeah. So there's tomato. It's a. The original recipe is tomatoes, peppers, onions, and then vinegar, salt, and pepper. I am replacing half of the peaches or the tomatoes with peaches. It'll be good. It probably won't last very long. No, if it's it probably good. won't. All right, so we do this outside on a camp stove uh, because we will gas out the house. Yeah. Ask us how we know. Oh my gosh. It's fine once it's done the initial like cooking where it you know cooks and reduces and all right. that. Right, but wow. when you're cooking it. All those fumes oh, get atomized and make their way through the house. Last time you were cooking hot sauce in the house, You're everybody who walked coughing. in the door started coughing and sneezing. So I felt awful. Uh, you know, once you're in there a while, you kind of become immune to it. Right. But 
leaving the house and coming back in, it's like, <coughs> yeah, we do this part outside. Yep. A lot of tomatoes. A lot of tomatoes. tomatoes. All right, so. <laughs> yeah, it's still pretty, pretty fumey. <laughs> that is reduced by a lot. It's yeah, it's mostly, um, yeah, I want everything to get soft. I think we're going to get some of that thunderstorm that's rolling our way. My... It's uh, pretty dark over there. Sister, are you ready? No. No. It definitely smells different than the normal hot it sauce. It does, yeah. It smells kind of sweet. Do you want to taste this? I do. That's really interesting. Is it spicy? It is spicy. Okay, cool. It's peachy. <laughs> is that good or bad? It's kind of good. Oh, that's what you wanted. Yeah, that's... <laughs> it's very spicy. Peachy. And but peachy. it's very spicy. Oh, you brought a piece of chalk. Uh oh Better than a Sharpie. Yes, yes it is. Maybe a little bit of salt. Take it away. Okay. Bye. Take it away. Okay, I'll take it away. Thank you. Remove temptation. Yes. Take it away, mother. Take it away. <laughs> you could eat it as a salsa or a hot sauce. Okay. Like it's kind of a happy medium. Yeah, like nice with chips, but yeah, you also eat it with chips. put it on a burrito. Yeah. Cool. It should get oh. you a little taste. Full. Full. Now. Full. Now. Oh, that is hot. It's peachy. No kidding. Full now. Hey, it worked. It worked. <laughs> you ready? Ready. Hot done. Snow some jars. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go on a quest. Yep. We made a break for it. Yeah. It's starting to rain. It Found is. what is our last yeah. box yeah. of jelly jars. Jelly jars. But we like it. In, you can do it in pints, but I like it in the jelly jars because that seems to be the right size for you to put in your hot sauce bottles. So you yes. Can shake now it. we could do the hot sauce bottles just right now, but. To put it in the fridge and use to put, it soon, yeah, yeah, to use it immediately. But I can't preserve in those, so. Which I think I'll, I will put a hot sauce bottle okay. worth. Cool. I'm out of breath from running up the hill. <laughs> man, it's actually raining pretty good. Yes, I'm surprised. I didn't think we were going to see any rain. Man, we finished in the nick of time. For real? Like it is raining cats and dogs out there. No, no, that's not nice. Stop. Stop. Can't get away. Man, my nose is tickling. This stuff is so spicy. We went down to the barn looking for these jars. We knew we had a box of them and uh, came back up. And as soon as we came into the house, you could smell the fumes yeah. from this hot sauce. putting together a quick dinner. Yes. Uh, I see some shredded beef on some biscuits. Yes. And some onions. And peppers. And peppers. So it's gonna be like a Philly cheesesteak casserole thing. That sounds great. Most of my menu planning is sitting here for the past three hours working going, shoot, what am I gonna make for dinner? <laughs> All the people who are like, hey, we need a cookbook. And it's like, Meg doesn't know what she's cooking three hours before she cooks it. And I just make it up on the fly. <laughs> But you can see leftover biscuits, topped with shredded beef, topped with onions and peppers, and cheese, and I'm gonna bake it. Sounds great. Yeah. Like, it's going to be delicious. It is. Okay, so on that note of finishing up for the day, we're actually gonna wrap it up right here. I mean, I can't really do anything outside. Oh no, and it's looking, not an inch of water looking, right? Yeah, looking out the, uh, the rain gauge out there, we just got an inch of rain. In like an hour. Yeah, that was crazy. That was, yeah. yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you for all the rain. We needed it. We needed it. It has not rained. Like I'm watching potted plants that I forgot about because it's literally rained every day for the month of July. Yeah. Start to wither and die. Like oh, 
I guess I'm gonna have to water. I had to water our little nursery of plants that are over here next to the well house today. Another rain dance. Water all your plants. That's right. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Yes. We have some tasty hot sauce now. Just general goodie. Yeah. yeah. Alright. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.